what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Modi J, and this is part two of the Soft, Soft, Salt, and Pepper movie on Lifetime. Now, I was born in the 80s, so when this was kicking off, I was just a little, you know what I'm saying, a little kid, but they lucky I wasn't eight or nine because I would have been, ooh, I would have been doing my thing out there. But before we get into all that nonsense, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you want to be a part of this, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Oh, yeah, pause the video, hit the like button. Engagement all 2021, but now we know that Salt and Pepper they're moving in a new direction now. Salt's taking over as writing. Hey, it's time for us to blow up even bigger. But let's jump into it. This is part two. Salt and Pepper. Miss Pepper still out there. She like, man, I ain't in that booth right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to enjoy this money we making. She went and copped a bin, sixty four thousand. Pulled up to the bar, you know what I'm saying, showing out, showing, you know what I'm saying, showing what I work for, what I earn. But while she's in there, a man comes up to her. His name is Dada. Now, he is balling. He's been trying to get that pepper. He's seen her come in a couple of times. So what he does is, anything you're drinking, it's on me. Matter of fact, all the drinks are on me. All the next round is on me. So she's like, okay, you impressed me with that. As he walks off, she talks to the bartender like, girl, who is that? She's like, oh, that's Dada. He's been trying to get at you for a while. He wanted me to get you his number. So, and she was like, well, shoot, let me get that number, okay? When you got the talent, hey, the hits ain't going to stop. Salt's been putting together an album. She went ahead and took it into the record label like, look, Herbie's not around. I'm going to do it myself. I felt like this is what I wanted to do. He listened to it. He's like, you know what? That sounds like our next single. We got to shoot a video. So it's the Express Yourself song. Salt actually wrote it. They out here doing their thing. And you can hear them talking in the background. And Pepper's like, I know a nice man for you to go out and meet. Not that you have to marry him. You know, you still with Herbie. But you should just meet somebody. So Pepper's out here playing matchmaker. Salt goes out with this gentleman. His name is Gavin. Now they go out. And they're just walking. this fireworks. So it's probably like 4th of July or something. And he ends up seeing a hot dog stand. And he's like, oh, you want a hot dog? So she's like, nah, he gets one. But it turns out when she's talking to him, she's letting it be known that she's kind of interested. She's kind of flirting, but she's letting it be known that I do have a man. Herbie's back at home. But she ends the date short like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because she doesn't want to lead him on or anything or give him any false ideas. So he's like, all right, cool. So she, before she leaves, she turns around like, I'll see you around. Fellas, if, they, <laughs> if she says she'll see you around... More like she gonna come back. While all this is going on, we going to the moon, baby. We making hits. Peppa and uh, Mr. Dada are doing the nasty, and it turns out Peppa ends up pregnant. Now they go up onto the infamous roof. She goes down. She's talking to him. This guy, he's all about business. Dada, he's, he's making it happen. But she comes out there. And he's like, "What's wrong?" She's like, "I'm pregnant," and he's looking like pregnant. Uh, why? Whoa, 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 whoa! We can't be, we can't be doing this right now. But Peppa wasn't expecting that from him. what she was expecting. Like most women, is for him to be like, "Oh man, great! I'm gonna be a dad." But he was like, "Whoa, wait, yo, pump the brakes! I'm not, I wasn't here for all that." Now that the ladies, they're they're doing music on their own, they're producing music, they're still making hits. They like, now it's time to renegotiate our contract. We didn't already did two albums. Our third was making some moves. So they go and talk to Mr. Herbie. And they're like, look, what we need is more points. We want this and we want this. We want this control. We want to be able to do this. So if you can't do that, we're going to go over here and talk to Harry O. And we're going to get what we want. Now, are you with us or against us? And Herbie's listening to it like, hmm. <sighs> All he had to do is... Give them more money, and he would have been able to keep a successful rapping act. But he's like, no, nah, let's call Harry O, because he got too much pride. So the ladies actually leave and get new management, and they get a better deal. That's what you got to do. You got to negotiate, but you got to let that pride go. Like I said, things never go as planned, especially when you're headed to the top. You got to, hey, you got to have some speed bumps. And, of course, Salt, she's going to have one, too. Now, with her, she has... A dilemma with Mr. Herbie. You remember the phone calls he received? Well, this young lady turned out to be pregnant, and here's the baby here. Salt doesn't know that she's holding Herbie's baby. So once the lady leaves with the baby, she looks like, what the hell was that? And Herbie's like, man, that's my that's my son, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a, it's just a little mistake. And Salt tells him right then and there, look, 
If it ain't about business, if it ain't about salt and pepper, don't call my phone, don't hit me up, don't do nothing. So that's the end right there. It's over. Salt gets home. She's in a rage. The guy she's been with for most of her life got somebody else pregnant. So she's in the bathroom. She's confused. Don't know what's going on. She's throwing up. And she gets a phone call from Pepper. Pepper's talking about, I'm in labor. She heads down to the hospital. I'm like, man, we got a lot of shit going on right now. But Pepper's in labor. <sighs> Salt comes in there running. She starts talking to her. And they're just going back and forth on what's going on in life. Because at this point, they're all they got. But Salt says, we're going to get through this. We're, we're some bad bitches. Pepper's like, we're some bad bitches. Two bad bitches. One pregnant, having a baby, baby daddy ain't there. The other one, whoever she was messing with, he's gone, has a kid by somebody else. This is where that bad bitch stuff started. And look at it. Being a bad bitch isn't always the best thing. Just being a regular person is all you need to be. <laughs> Turns out, Salt is pregnant. Peppa had her child. He's running around and stuff. They're at a little event, and they're just talking, going back and forth, talking about, oh, Salt, you eating too much. Well, they put the child down. Pepper's son, they look, they, oh, wait, where'd he go? He runs off, and we finally get introduced into Tretch. Now, Tretch is from Naughty by Nature. He has a song, and she's like, man, I heard your voice before. He's like, yeah, you probably heard me on the radio. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We get to meet Tretch. But what she tells Tretch is, my son never lets anybody pick him up. Like, what, what's, what's, what's different about you? So this is where they actually introduced into each other and they met because uh her son took a liking in them we get introduced to arsenio hall now i'm pretty sure they're going to do a lifetime movie of him hopefully it's on a different network lifetime doesn't need to be controlling a men's story like it's good for the salt and pepper but i think arsenio should have a, a high production but the women are on here and they're talking about their success with let's talk about sex and how it's international and they're the first women to go platinum in Australia, Germany. But Arsenio touches on them changing the words from let's talk about sex to let's talk about AIDS because of the AIDS epidemic that happened in the early 90s. And the girls are like, yeah, we got a call. This guy, his daughter was a fan of ours. So this is what made us change it up. Then we also know around this time Magic Johnson retired. So what? AIDS is a very, very big topic. And the girls are like, yeah, we just got to use our awareness. And we, we wish that other artists, just like we want now, artists use your platform to give awareness. And then Arsenal asks them, how about the clothes? And they're like, this is just us. We're expressing ourselves, man. We don't have to be in all the, the dresses and heels and stuff. If we want to come out like this, this is how we feel. Let us live. During Arsenio Hall, they asked Salt, okay, how about your child? And she's like, well, since Peppa had one, I thought it was time for me to have one. Then he brings up, but you've you been dating you know, her before a while. And she's just like, oh, yeah, next comment. But when they get in the back, Gavin gets upset about this because she doesn't tell the world that this baby is Gavin's. Everyone thinks it's Herbie's. So for this, Gavin is like, look, you know what I'm saying? I don't want anything to do with this. If you're not going to claim me like that, you're saying this child is the, has a father that's a nobody? Because you didn't say anything. So he obviously didn't show up for when the baby was born because he felt like she was disrespecting him and didn't say that the baby was his. She ends up delivering the baby and it's a healthy child. It's time to come up with more songs. It's plain and simple. Herbie's like, I want to make a hit. The girls are like, what, like none of your business? She's not a creep. She ain't, you know what I'm saying? She's a freak on the weekend. We don't want to make that kind of music no more. We want to make something for us. Plus, we're mothers now, so we don't want to be talking about all that stuff. I wish a lot of new age rappers would look at like, hey, your mother, you can't be walking around talking about you do this and do this with all kinds of dudes. But they do. So the engineer's like, look, I heard that this, the album has to be 12 songs. How about y'all do six salt and pepper songs and then six Herbie songs? And the best one makes, you know what I'm saying? The best ones make the album. So they're like, well, you know what? That'll work. And of course, Salt and Pepper's about to get that pen in the pad, and they about to give us some music that we like. This is where the women start to go on their own path. Now, Salt, she's starting to get in the church. She's going up there. She's trying to get right with the Lord. Pepper, she's still, you know what I'm saying? She with trash. They in mansions. They partying. But one night, she ends up calling Salt while she's going into church. And she's like, hey, I got to talk to you real quick. I got a song in my head. And Salt's like, not right now. Pepper's like, no, you got to listen to me. You know, us women, when we see a fine dude, we should go and be able to holler at him. 
you know how like us guys we got to go shoot our shot but Pebble was like, how about if we make a song and we do it, you know, we shoot, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? What does that mean? Well, we shoot, like we shoot, we see a dude, we gonna, you know what I'm saying, shoot over there, you holler at him. So I was like, you know what? That might work. I'm gonna hit you when I get out of church though. <laughs> After she gets off the phone with Salt, shoot, I got a hit song on the way, girl. We about to make moves. She comes out the room and Tratchett's creepy ass was walking around the house drunk, like kind of spying on her. And he waits till she comes out the room and he stops her. Like, who, who you talking to? She's like, dang, I was just getting away talking to Salt about a song I was going to make. And he's talking about, who do you think you are, Beethoven or something? What, you don't need to be talking about no music. And turns out he's a, a little alcoholic. Throws a glass against the wall. Man, you wildin' out. Who going to clean that up? I ain't. We got salt and pepper in the studio recording. Shoot, they got table salt and ground pepper with them. You understand? So they actually recorded this song with the kids in the booth. Shoot, shoot, daru. But while they're recording this, they mm, they ripping it, sounding good. In comes Tretch. Now, Salt takes the kids with her. Tretch and Pepper, they sitting there to start talking. He, he begins to apologize to her about how he was acting. But the way he grew up was... He was actually homeless for a little bit, living in the streets, living in the parks. So no one was ever there for him. So he always feels like someone's going to leave his life, which kind of drove him towards drinking. So Peppa's listening to him. She's like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm not going to leave you. I'm here for you. Because that's all people really need is someone that they feel like is actually there and cares for them. The dough's rolling in. The girls is living the life. Kids is right. You know what I'm saying? Let's party. Now, they just keeping it funky. They doing the video. They got on the little spandex, the bra, the bousiers. Oh, my God. We got everything. But while all this is going on, people are starting to look at them like, okay. You know what I'm saying? They got these moves. They got these songs. But they didn't have these kids. They getting a little chunky out there. How they going? You know what I'm saying? Are they going to keep their body up? You know what I'm saying? That's all we want to know. If y'all going to be doing these kind of songs, hey, you got to have an image, too. So everybody noticed it. I mean, but they're women. They had kids. Give them some time to bounce back. At this point, shoot is like on top of the charts. These girls, they everywhere, man. I'm talking about salt and pepper, baby. Like, I can't lie. No matter male, female, back then, salt and pepper, they were hard. So when they came on the radio, you didn't turn it. You just listened to it because they made some good music. Can I lie? I was young. I was a young one, but I knew some salt and pepper on top of the world. Now, they're over in Moscow, Russia. So that just shows you how big this song is. Like, Russia's never really been a, a touristy place. But if they know your music, then you really made it. I'm just going to be real with you. If Russia knows your music, you really made it in the world. Girls over there, they in a hotel room, big old suite. And they just start talking. And Salt's talking about, hey, you need a... Uh, Watch out for Tretch. Like, does he need anger management and stuff? And she, Peppa's like, nah, he's not always like that. It's just sometimes. And he hates me getting smart with him. So it's like, if you're really going to deal with all that, you really shouldn't be in a relationship. So Salt was just looking out for it. Now, Peppa starts to look out for Salt and says, hey, I seen in your your your, your suitcase, you had a, a, a dildo in there. You know what I'm saying? A little toy. And Salt's like, hey, man, stay out of my bag. You know what I'm saying? But Peppa's like, Look, you gonna have to do something. Like you out here, you by yourself. What, what, what are you gonna do? Salt sits there and she starts talking to her. Like, yeah, I've been thinking about giving my life to the church and doing all this other stuff. But Pepper, being Pepper, falls asleep, ain't paying no attention. It's the Essence Awards. The ladies are here. We're getting ready. We gotta perform. We gotta figure out what we gonna do. What choreography we're gonna have. But at this point, it's the Essence Awards. Now, Essence is more of the classy, you know, more respectable side of our black community. But Salt and Pepper, what songs do they have for this? Salt's like, look, I promised the director and the CEO that we wouldn't do Shoe. We wouldn't do none of these songs that were raunchy or talking about sex or anything. But everyone's like, this is our new single. We have to do this. We have to put this out. But Salt's like, man, the business of this, this isn't the place for us to do it. Let's do some other songs. Pepper's like, nah, that's going to mess up our whole set. So they're like, look, Salt, we have to do this. <sighs> Salt was right. Why are we doing this? They went up there and performed none of your business. They all dancing. You got dudes grinding on you. And as you can see, the boss lady like, 
what the hell did y'all just do? I said, don't do these songs. And what the hell did y'all do? So she walks out. Salt's looking at, at her be like, and he's just like, oh, well, it's our single, man. We had to do it. Things are just, it's just going downhill from here. Salt, she resorts to starting to eat, to, to deal with everything that's going on. So she's ordering food, double cheeseburgers. Peppa's over here having trouble with Trench. He's like, look, we got to go. The car be here in five minutes. So she's like, look, I'm about to iron these jeans. You know what I'm saying? Because when I wear these, it make my butt look thick. So he's like, who are you trying to look thick for? And she says, I'm trying to look thick for you. But he's like, I told you to wear a dress. And you didn't want to wear the dress that I wanted you to wear. So you're not doing it for me. Who are you trying to look good for? Basically, Trent's tripping again. And she's like, nobody. I'm, You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to iron the jeans. He brings up, if this was one of your events, we would have been there by like an hour early. But when it's my stuff, you don't want to participate. This is where Peppa, she needs to take a look at herself. Like, I need to get out of this situation. ASAP. The two women meet up. And at this point, it's like, look, this is what I got going on. This is what you got going on. Let's help each other. Let's get this right. Salt explains that she grew up with an alcoholic father. So this is just things that she's used to. But you got to make your way around it. And then Pepper starts giving her advice, like, you and Gavin, y'all back together, y'all having sex, that's a good thing. Y'all two should be together. Now it's time for business. We know that, hey, things is getting tough. They got the kids. We got to try to get some money. There's a label called Red Ant, and they got a lot of money, and they're trying to prove themselves. They've been wanting to sign us. Pepper's like, look, I'm with that. But the only thing is, this is the time for us to go Hey, separate from, from Herbie, we got to do this on our own. And Salt is like, yeah, you're right. So the ladies take Mr. Herbie to court. They get the name Salt and Pepper. They win that. Herbie has to pay their lawyer fees. They don't know owe him no money. Everything is good now. We solo. We get to go do our own thing outside of Herbie. Herbie ends up talking to Salt one-on-one. -on -one. He tells her, believe it or not, I'm actually proud of you. This is what I believed in. And I'm watching it happen. Even though we're not together and if we probably won't be doing business anymore, I'm really proud of you. And I believe that he probably was because he, hey, at the end of the day, this is one of the women that he was first with, spent most of his life with. They came up together and they made it. It's just some shady business on the back end. But salt and pepper won. We ready to get some more money. We getting a new deal. We just won. We just won this case. We got to get to work. Who's at the studio? Salt. Where's Peppa at? Make a phone call. You call over there. Trench answers. Uh, no, nah, she she ain't here. Hey, the phone is for you. So they just drunk partying. And Salt's like, listen, we got business to go. We got we got to we got to handle this. We got to get some songs out. The engineer's like, you want me to call? Salt's like, nah, ain't no more calling. I'm about to go pull up on her ass. We got to figure out what we doing, Peppa. What we doing? Saul pulls up to the mansion. We're going to get right to it. She's looking around. Where's Peppa? Where's Peppa? Where's Peppa? Now, she goes downstairs. They got a swimming pool on the inside. I'm like, damn. Y'all was making some bread back then, huh? But she goes over and she's talking to Peppa. Like, what, what, what the hell are you doing? You know we need to be at the studio. And Peppa's like, I'm chilling. I'm smoking with all my friends. You know, you should be cooling out a little bit. Come chill with us. And Salt's like, look, I ain't got time for that. We got to make some money. We got to get in this studio. And now Pep is just delusional. Now she's like, oh, you've been talking all this behind my back, saying I don't do no work in the group. I can't hold my own. And Salt's like, I never said that. I never said you were jealous of me or anything. I want you to come help do work. And Pep was like, oh, we got time. And pretty much she's dismissing everything. And Salt's like, look, I'm out. I'm going to the studio. If you ain't trying to work, you ain't trying to work. Peppa's like, don't worry. I'll be there tomorrow to do my verse. I'm going to be all over that thing. So Peppa, she's she's going off the deep end, hanging around Tretch of these rappers. I'm sure Pac was around too. You already know how those parties were. Now everything's starting to slow up. When you riding that mountain, you that mountain climb up, you got to stay on that thing because as soon as you stop is the minute you fall off. Now, they're talking with the new record exec, and they're like, okay, you want to sign us? What, what, what can we do? You know what I'm saying? We're going to get some shows. What are we going to do? And he breaks it down to them. Listen, you guys' record sales have dropped. You guys haven't been touring or anything. The kids have been slowing y'all down. 
I can get y'all on the road, but you're not going to make what you used to make. You're not doing arenas. You're going to do little local clubs, little bars until y'all build a name or come up with another hit. And Salt's so like, look, we need to know how much money we're going to get and let's do this and let's negotiate it. Pepper's like, let me have some say in it. I'm part of the group too. But ultimately, they like, we got to take the deal that he has on the table because we haven't been doing nothing. We haven't been producing anything and we just went stagnant. So they got to take a lesser deal and do smaller venues. It's just the way the game works. Salt goes over and talks to Gavin a little bit like, man, we got to we gotta do something. This ain't right. And then she ends up looking down and you see her holding her stomach. She's pregnant again by Gavin. So Gavin's like, look, this is what you got to do. Salt is like, yeah, you're right. Fine. I give in. We'll sign the deal. But you got to get us a nice bus because I'm pregnant again and I need somewhere to lay down. Things are rolling. We end up seeing Miss Pepper and Trash getting married while they're in the picture. Salt got the belly out. You know what I'm saying? So it's a wonderful thing. Things look like it's starting to get better with them. But we still got to handle this tour. We got a pregnant one. We got one that just married. And we on the road. Comeback season. Let's see how long it lasts. One night while they're all performing, everything is going good. Very small venue. No, no room to really like, you know, saying show off your dance moves. Well, Salt, she's rapping. She gets up front. She says she got to do. She tries to do a little move, but, you know, you got that, that belly weight. You know what I'm saying? Your, your center of gravity's off. You know what I'm saying? But she ends up falling. And she fell on her stomach. And everybody, like, oh, my goodness. We all know that is the worst thing that you can do while you're pregnant is fall down, especially directly on the belly. So now everyone's like, uh-oh. We might need to stop this tour. Cheryl goes into the doctor now. They run all kinds of tests and they find out that the baby is all right. Now, like I said, that's one of the worst things that can happen while you're pregnant. So, of course, Salt is like, oh, okay, good. I'm glad the baby's all right. We got to finish this tour. We owe some, you know what I'm saying? Because if they don't, they owe money back. They got to refund everybody. The label's going to take their money back. But the doctor's like, look, the best thing for you to do is get rest. You don't need to be up doing no more shows, especially while you're pregnant. Not this far along. The show starts to flash forward. It's starting to show us just little clips of what's been going on. Now, Salt, she's already talked about giving herself to the Lord. Now, when she goes into church, the pastor is in there. He starts preaching about there's things that we love that, that, aren't, that aren't too good for us, and they don't love us back. For Salt, this is her eating all these snacks, all this junk food. Her body's starting to reject it. She's throwing it up. Peppa, they showed her and Trench. They were doing good with their child, seeing her on TV, but... Ultimately, what this is, is the moment that the two women, they have to stop, not stop, stop being sisters, but they have to stop being friends at this point. This is where they, they, they just separate themselves and they go their own directions with what they have in life. We see Peppa and Trench, they get into it. Trench is like, I want a divorce. So now Peppa's going through all this. Salt, so she's at church one day and she ends up calling Peppa and she's like, listen, I'm going to go first this time. I enjoyed everything we did, but I don't want to be stuck to push it and, and salt and pepper for the rest of our lives. I want I want to be able to figure out who Cheryl is. I want to be able to live my life as a, a just regular person now and go forward with my family. And Pepper's like, okay, okay, cool. Uh, I'm finding, you know, her good news is I'm finally leaving trash, but Saul's pretty much making this phone call to say, hey, look, I'm going my way. You're going your way. And like I said, this was the this was the end of salt and pepper as we knew it. Of course, you know how the celebrity is. Now they have Wendy Williams on here, and you can hear her narrating and talking about oh salt and pepper, they came to an end. You gotta also remember this Saturday coming up, Wendy Williams has a show. Uh, and I'll be doing a review on that, the recap on that. But we see Pepper in here drinking. Wendy Williams is on the news talking about if anyone has any tea they want to spill on these ladies, let me know. So Wendy Williams has been doing this for years. She's been close with these two, and she knows they're 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 closer than friends. They were they were like real life sisters, but unfortunately things happen in life and they went their own ways. Sauce with Gavin, and he's like, "All right, what do you think about this mix? What do you think about these tracks?" And Cheryl's really like, "Look, I'm gonna be honest with you." I just don't, I don't have that push and it ain't the same without, 
without Sandra. Like this music stuff was me and her. It was us together. Without us, it just that magic ain't there. Same thing with Peppa. Peppa's going around. She's trying to get shows, and people are booking her. But when she gets there, they're like, "Wait, it's just Peppa." No, 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 no. See, the fans want to see Salt and Pepper, so we can't, we can't do this with just you. It's not gonna work. We have to pass. So both of these women are seeing that this music, if it ain't both of them, it really wasn't gonna work. They didn't set themselves up to have the group, and then while they're in the group, one person do a solo. All right, we push that. Boom, boom, boom. Second person do a solo, and we still have a group. One, one person by itself, they didn't establish themselves that way, so it wasn't gonna work. My boy Gavin gets a phone call. Hello? Okay, yeah. Okay, no, no, no. That's what you want to do? All right, I'll let her know. Now, he gets a phone call. He goes over and Salt's like, who is that? He's like, oh, it's just some producers from uh, VH1. They have some hip-hop honors they want you to come to. But I didn't give him the phone to you because I didn't feel like you would do it without Peppa. And Salt's like, yeah, you're right. But who am I? If they want to honor some hip-hop icons, some legends like us, who would I be to tell the fans, no, we can't do that? So Saul's like, look, let's get Pepper. Let's make this happen. I know we haven't spoken years, but let's make it happen. Now we came full circle. September 26, 2005, Manhattan, New York City. VH1 Hip Hop Honorees. The ladies are showing up. They're getting ready to do an outstanding performance. Now, I remember watching this live. I was like, damn, look at Salt and Pepper. Looking good. The ladies, they start getting dressed in the back. They're getting ready to go do their performance the first time in four years, four or five years that they talk to each other. And it's, hey, this is a big stage to get on. They got Queen Latifah out there introducing them. And the ladies, they haven't really said anything to each other. They just sitting there. They're getting prepared. But when you're next to the person that you close with, a sibling, like your brother, your sister, you ain't got to say nothing. Y'all just know it's going to be good once that once the music starts. Y'all gonna get right. They go out there. They start doing their thing. Spinderella's out there. She rapping her verses. They could have gave us a little more Spinderella, but she out there. Salt and Pepper doing their thing. You got Herbert in the crowd. Gavin in the backstage. Like, damn, man. They doing a hell of a job. You got Trench out there. The girls, they tearing it down. Now, Salt and Pepper, they were true icons, man. They really had some good-ass music. And their live performances was nice, too. I loved all their videos. Of course, the last song they play is So, 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 and Peppa's Hill. That push it. You see everybody go crazy. Because this is the song that mostly everybody knew them for. Was the push it. And then they start having the flashbacks of when they were younger. When it first started. The, when they were just having all the good times. And that's right there. It's the Salt and Pepper movie for you. They had a hell of a journey. A hell of a journey. Alright, there you go. That is part two of the Lifetime movie of So, 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 and Peppa's Hill. Uh, overall, I think the movie was good. Now, I do say that the people that did New Edition and the Bobby Brown movie, they need to be doing everybody's documentaries. But let me know what you thought about the whole movie overall. Hey, and are you going to be here next week for the Wendy Williams show? I'm not a fan of Wendy, but I'm going to do the show for y'all. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Moda J. If you like the content on the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit your like button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.